Okay, so before we start on the review for um for the test coming up, I just kind of want to go over a few things because going through trig, I've noticed that a few students have had you know several different things that they have had misconceptions on the way that they came in from the calculators and all that. So before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and point out two questions. I actually gave like an assignment to my seventh block class a couple of days ago, like whenever we first remember this. It's something that y'all didn't have. But it's an assignment that I gave them in particular. And here were two questions that were commonly missed. So I picked two answers from the two random kids from that class. And I went ahead and put up the problems that they had and the two responses they had. What I'm going to do is go through them. And what I'm going to ask you to do after we're done is I want y'all to talk about it with the partner sitting next to you and see if you can't figure out what was done wrong with the problems and how it would be that you would fix it. So the first one, number three. It was a right triangle where you had one side that was represented by the letter X, so that's what you're solving for, and you had another side that was six, and the angle of the problem was 32. They went ahead and they wrote from the triangle here that they used tan 32 is equal to six over X, and then this is how they solved it, and this is the answer they came out with at the end. For number six, you had the same thing, another right triangle where two sides, one was 10, one was four, and you were, they were asked to solve for the angle, which was represented by x. And they wrote it down as cosine x is equal to 4 divided by 10. And then at the very end, they ended up getting 66.4. So what I want y'all to do, talk about it for a minute or two, and see if you can't go through the problems and figure out what they did wrong and how it will be that you fix it. So I'll give y'all about a minute or two to talk about it with someone sitting next to you. Okay, so let's go through it. Number three, again, they wrote down tan 32 is equal to 6 over x, where x would be equal to 6 over tan 32. And the final answer was 9.6. So someone raise your hand if you think that you know this, what it is that they've done wrong and at what step. Sean, what you got? Okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. So they went through and actually picked the right trig function here. They picked tangent and they set it up right on the first, on the left side. The part they screwed up on, like you said was that they actually swapped the x and the 6. I guess at some point when they were going through it, I guess, you know, a common thing I saw a lot of people is that as they got good at it, this person had done well for like the first like 10 questions and then had this question or so, like, I guess this would be like the backside of it because it was like, you know, 15 on one side, 15 on the other. So on the backside, once they had gotten through the first half, this was the first one they got wrong. And usually when people get good at something and they get, you know, rolling, they'll typically do simple mistakes, even though they know what the answer is, they know how they're supposed to do it, they'll just go through it real fast and not notice it. So this is what happened. They basically just swapped the X with the six. As you know, from the different trig functions that I've been going over with, y'all tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. If you look at it, the X is the opposite, the adjacent is the six. So all they had to do was just flip it back and they got the right thing. But by doing this, it screwed up the rest of the problem. So this is the issue whenever you do go too fast, sometimes it can mess up everything else because what ended up happening was they moved the X over to the left and they swapped the tan 32. If you actually were to do this the right way, where it was supposed to be the six on top, you wouldn't actually end up with the division problem at the end. You'd end up with multiplication. So when you mess up really tiny things, it messes up everything else below it. So the advice for number three I would give y'all is whenever you're going through it, even though you know what you're doing, don't 
Don't go too fast. You can make simple mistakes and you'll get a question wrong when you know what you're doing. So number six, cosine x is equal to four over 10, which ended up at the end giving them 66.4. So someone else, raise your hand and tell me, what do you notice about this? What you got here? That's exactly right. So this person went ahead and actually picked the wrong trick function, another common thing. So I told you whenever we're going to take our test, the one thing, the first thing that you need to know is three trick functions. It's an absolute loss for your test, and it's going to really help you on your leap and everything else going forward. So this person went ahead and actually picked the wrong trick function. Amir, which one were they supposed to use? They're supposed to use sine. So if you look at it, the triangle that they have here is x, and they gave you the two sides, 4 and 10. If you look at it, the 4 is on the opposite side of the x, and the 10 is on the opposite side of the right angle, which means that the 4 would have, should have been opposite, and the 10 should have been hypotenuse. So what they ended up doing is they picked cosine. They thought the 4 was the adjacent side. The adjacent side is always going to be the side that touches the angle but it's shorter than the hypotenuse. So it's the short side that touches the angle. So what they should have done is they should just swap sine, I mean, cosine the sine, and they didn't end up getting the right answer. So just make sure that you know your trig function. They could have done the same thing that this person did. They could have been just going too fast, but what ended up happening is they picked the wrong trig function. They actually solved it the right way. They did um, actually go through here and do the inverse of the trig function. So if they would have picked sine, they actually did the second step right, and they would have ended up getting the right answer if they had done it that way. So they did do some good things. It's just be careful which trick function you use. Because even if you go to the process, you don't pick the right trick function, you'll get the, the uh, whole question wrong. Anyway, all right. So go ahead. If y'all write this down inside your notebooks, you can put them up. You want to take out your review packets, because we'll start on that here so we can get ready for your test. <laughs>